In today's video, we are building a subscriptions tracker from scratch in Notion. This is perfect for intermediates in Notion and for beginners, I'm going to walk through every single step of the way. What we are going to be working with is databases. Now, you might have seen tables which look like this. Tables are not the same thing as databases. These do not use data, so they don't actually speak to other pieces of data. It's just like columns. It's pretty much like in a Word document, you can create columns. That's all a table is. So we won't be working with that. And we will also not be working with columns. So you've probably seen many beginner tutorials use columns. Columns look like this. I can have one, two, three, and four, or five columns, or two columns, whatever it is. Having columns, again, doesn't help us with actual data. Now using columns makes it easy for us to see and read the page, but it doesn't actually help us sort data and use data properly. So you've heard the word data now a few times, but do not worry, databases in Notion are not that scary. So what we're going to do here is forward slash data, and then this one here called table view. We're going to click on this. Do not click on inline or full page. We're going to click on table view. Now you can see a blank database gets created here saying new view untitled and it's saying, hey, do you want to link an existing database or do you want to create a new one? And for us today, we are going to be creating a new table. So I'll click on new table here and we just have it blank like this. By default, we have a name column and we have a tags column. Databases have columns and rows, just like in Excel or Google Sheets or anything like that. So columns are the same thing as properties. So the name here, this name column is the same thing as a name property. Same thing with tags. And if we add anything in here, this is a new property, but it is also a column. And rows in Notion databases are the same thing as items or pages. So this is actually an individual page which I can open up. Now today we won't be adding stuff into these actual individual pages, but it is a great thing to know because I know a lot of people get confused with Notion databases. So the first thing we are going to do is just name this database. So I'll just call it subscriptions. And now we are going to rename this name to subscription or whatever you want to call it. This is basically where you're going to fill out what you are subscribed to. So Netflix, Squarespace, Notion Plus. So we are filling them out here in this column. Now we're going to be working with quite a few columns. So what we can do here is go up to the top here, click on these three dots and click on full width. Now this tags column has been created here by default, but what I'll do is just delete it in case you are not seeing that. So we're going to click on the plus here and here we are going to scroll down and select the select property. So I click on that and we are going to call this account. So this is which bank account are you using? Now you might only have one bank account, but some of you might have a few so we can write them in here. So these here are tags and I can say here which one of these I am using for my subscription. So with Netflix, I'm using card one, Squarespace, I'm using card two. Obviously, you might want to call it something more useful than card one, two, three. Now we are going to add another property and this property is going to be a status property. So again, we're going to add a few different drop downs here, monthly, yearly and unsubscribed. So we have the three options here of is it a monthly? Is it a yearly? Is it unsubscribed? Now we might also want to have a, another property here knowing is this something that I want to unsubscribe to? Is it something I want to delete? So let's call this delete here, just like that. So if we wanna change the tags colors here, we can do that. For me, delete, I feel like that should be red. So we can just click here, then hover over this delete till we see the three dots here. Click on that and then we will click on red. Unsubscribe, I feel like that could be pink or something like that. Yearly, let's make that blue and monthly, let's make that green. I don't know why, but I feel like that makes more sense to me. So now we want to know the date that we signed up for the subscription. So we'll click on the plus here and here we are going to click on the date property. So we'll click on that. And then here you can easily just click and say when you subscribe to something. So I'll say the 18th. So now I can see I subscribed to Netflix on the 18th and it is a monthly subscription and I used card one. It's just a really handy way to do this. Now the next obvious property is the cost. We want to know how much are these things costing. By the way, stick around because after this, I'm going to teach you about groups in Notion because this will help you a lot. But first let's do the cost. We're going to want to see the cost in two ways. So we'll click on the plus here and then select on number. The first way we're going to want to see it is the monthly cost. So we'll just write month here. And now I can see the monthly cost. Now what I can do, because I don't like doing math, let's say this is 13, this is 24, and this is 12. These numbers are probably wrong, by the way. What you can do here is click underneath here, hover, and now you can see calculate. So we can click here and then click on sum. 
That way it will automatically add up how much the monthly cost is. So we can see here it is $49. If you wanna see this as a dollar sign and not just a number, then what we can do is click on month here and click on edit property. Now what we can do is change it from type number format number to US dollar, Australian dollar, Canadian, Euro, blah, blah, blah. So we can do that in here. And now I can see that monthly cost. Now the last column here is we want to see it as a yearly cost. Now, obviously we don't wanna to have to do the maths every single time of doing 13 times 12, 24 times 12, all of that, it's too much work. So we're going to click on the plus here. Instead of selecting the number property, we're going to scroll down and select the formula property. Now formulas sound scary, but it's a super easy formula. This is very, very easy. So here is the basic formula. We want to know the month, which is this. So whatever is in the row, this month here, we want to do times 12. So basically 12 months. And then we'll click on done. It's that easy. So now we can see here the month cost and the year cost. So I'm going to rename formula to year. And then here I'll click on calculate and do sum. And I can see my yearly cost, which is 588. Now, for those of you who have stuck around and you really want to get this thing organized, we can add another property just to make things a little more organized. And that will be a type. So we can break these down by the different types of subscription. Is it a business subscription? Is it an e-learning subscription? Is it an entertainment? Whatever it is, we can see that and we'll actually use groups to see that. So we'll click on the plus again and click on select. And this I will just call type. For Netflix, I will write entertainment, Squarespace, let's say business, Notion Plus, that can also be business. And then I'll add another one here. We'll call it Blast School, and this will be in e-learning. So now we can see the different types. Is it entertainment, business, or e-learning? Obviously you can add as many as you want. Now the cool thing here, because we've added this, is we can actually separate these based on these different types. That way I know how much am I spending in total, but also how much am I spending on entertainment specifically or on business or on e-learning. We are going to rename this to all subscriptions. Now, before I add a tab here where it's grouping it by these different types, I want to ensure I have another version where I can see this without the unsubscribed, because if it's unsubscribed, it shouldn't be adding it into my monthly or yearly cost here. So I'm going to right click and duplicate, and I will call this one active. So all subscriptions is anything I've ever subscribed to in the past. And then active will be anything that is not unsubscribed. First off, I recommend that you do subscribe to Notion Plus. It's very good. So I'm going to change this to monthly and change this one to unsubscribed. Notion Plus is great, by the way. I really recommend it. It is fantastic. So on this active tab, what we will do here is click on the filter and click on status. And what we want to say is where the status is not. So we'll click on the is and change it to is not unsubscribed. Now you can see it gets removed and we are no longer seeing unsubscribed. So this filter is only happening on the active tab. If I click on all subscriptions, you can still see here unsubscribed. That's because we don't have a filter on this tab. We only have that filter on this tab. You might be thinking, why don't I just delete this? But it's because we want to see this in the future. We want to know what were we subscribed to and how much did it cost? So by having these two options, we can see that. Now the last one here is the groups that I was talking about before seeing it in entertainment, business, and e-learning. First, I'm just going to add a cost to Blast School. Let's just do 10 bucks. Now let's do right click on active. So we are not right clicking all subscriptions because we want to keep this filter. If we duplicate this active, we are actually keeping the filter here, which is very, very useful. So let's call this one group by type. Now, what we're going to do here is click on the three dots. We are going to click on group. And here we are saying, what do we want this to group by? How do we want these separated? And we could group this in a bunch of different ways. We could group this by account. That way I'm seeing all of the things on card one being added together, all of the things on card three being added together. But what we are going to do here is group by type. So if I click on type now, as you can see, it splits these up. We have business, e-learning and entertainment. So now I can see I spend $12 in total on my business per month. I spend $10 per month on my e-learning and I spend $13 per month on my entertainment. This is such a fantastic way to work with Notion. If you were using normal columns or tables, you wouldn't be able to use the data in this kind of way. If you feel like you're ready to take the next step with Notion, then I recommend checking out my headquarters template. It is my all-in-one system in Notion for your task management, project management, life buckets, resources, notes, journaling, bottleneck analysis. It took me months to make and I am so proud of it. It has over 900 users as of recording this with a five-star rating. If you're ready to take your productivity to the next level, then check out the template here. Thank you so much for watching.